Right guys, how are you doing? Uh, it's Jordan from Electrofag. I'm joined by Skeet's very own Laura. Yay. How are you doing? Oh, I'm alright. How are you today? Not bad. A bit yeah. tired. It's roughly about nine now, so uh, we're going to go crack on with this video. Today, we are doing Indulge, a review, or more of a first impression anyway. Yeah, we've not tried this juice before. Um, actually, that's a lie. We've tried the cola one uh, in the last five minutes, but uh, we'll get on to that in a sec. So we're going to review the Coca-Cola version first. And then we'll get on to some of the other ones. Yes! So, would you like to drippy drip drip? I always like to drippy drip drip. What are you using today, Jordan? Um, I use a bit of French dude. Uh, I love a colder flavour as well, so this is all uh, so it was I say this will uh, stand up to it, yeah. to be honest. So. Is it a good comparison to make, I guess? Uh, I, I feel like this colour is going to be a bit more bitter, you know. This is also called Colour Best. Get a nice look at that TPD packaging, how it should be. Put the TPD. Do you want to give it a go? Yeah. Pass me the drippy drip. Oh, it's there. Oh. All right. <clears throat> now, I absolutely love this packaging. It's very similar to the dinner lady stuff that you get. So, usually it'd be three bottles, but he's using one. So, a so, little slide out bit there. You've got three bottles inside, makes you 30 mils. Obviously, you've got your nicotine warning on the front. And uh, I don't know, it looks, it looks quite tidy to me. I like the packaging. And then. Uh, I'm very particular about how my stuff looks, so it was good. I like it. So off the first thing to that, I've kind of got a bit of dryness in it. It kind of feels a bit fruity. Uh, Coal is coming through quite well, as well as something else. I'm not quite getting it though. Yeah. It was, it was pretty thirsty. It tastes more like not the jelly cola, uh, cola bottles, but the. Uh, it, you know what it tastes like to me? Coca Cola flavored ice pops. It does, it without without the cold, like, um, so if you think like Riot Spot, their, their Coca-Cola version, it is cold and it is icy. It's not like that, it just, it has that sort of, I don't, <gasps> I don't want to say watered down taste because it, it, it's not bad, but no. a little bit blunt. It's not got that harsh fizzy taste that you get with some liquids. So. Um, well, so, subtlety is good in certain liquids, so if you're after that kind of eat, then I'd say it's for you. Very distinctive with Coca-Cola. Yeah. You wouldn't miss it at all. Nice, yeah. Um, we should come up with some kind of rating system for our no, podcast. Yeah, okay, so yeah. two things. Firstly, we need a podcast name because this is a podcast that does not have a name. No. And secondly, <laughs> uh, we need a rating system. Um, and we'll, we'll probably think of that at some point. Hopefully. Um, maybe Metacritic? <laughs> yeah. Maybe? Yeah. Um, if you are watching this and you are interested enough, please let us know what you think. Get, get some names in the comments. Let's see what people have to say. I think for now we might just call it Jordan and Laura's meh podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do for us. What are we trying next? We're trying some sweet spot. So hopefully it does hit that sweet spot. Hey. I've that. <laughs> <laughs> Ter terrible pun. God damn. This guy is mm. smooth and butter anyway. Um, I've got a diamond mod actually. That probably doesn't look good on camera, so we'll use our colleagues. Nice big Mac. So James, who you'll soon be meeting, if you haven't already from the first video. Yeah, yeah, he is. Um, we're going to put a link somewhere on this, like maybe here, right now. Yeah, that'll be a link to the first video that we upload. It's a gaming video. Uh, if you're into your game stuff, get on it. It's, it's pretty funny. A bit risque, but pretty funny. Um, obviously, on the channel, we're going to be mixing it up quite a lot. We're going to be doing a couple of liquid reviews, new product stuff. Obviously, it's coming in Electrofag. Um, all kinds of good stuff. We're going to keep up the gaming videos, though, because I learn pretty well and people seem to quite enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun still. <laughs> so, what do we reckon to that one? Again, quite subtle. Not as pretty as the uh, coal best, but uh, it it's really nice. I mean, it's it's subtle, but it's not so subtle you wouldn't vape it if that makes any sense whatsoever. But um, yeah, it's, it's pretty sweet. Uh, what, what's the actual uh, flavour description? Flavors? Oh yeah, we do have a flavour card. Um, we're not actually as unprepared as we may seem. Yeah. What, what's the flavour on that one, Jordan? Well, strawberries mixed with fresh watermelons with a hint of kiwi. I'm certainly getting the, uh, the watermelon fruit. The watermelon is fantastic in it. Uh, strawberries are not getting much fruit kiwi. Kiwi, though. Yeah, yeah, Go ahead. It's going to get ahead of me now and start trying the other ones. We'll do a coil drink. So, Jordan, how about a bit of backstory? How long have you been vaping and what got you into it? Q&A time. Oh, that's going to be fun. Yeah. Um, well, initially I used to smoke about 20 to 30 a day for about 10 years. I started when I was about 12. 
Oh, it's <laughs> not, not very good. Um, I'm asthmatic as well, and it just came to that time when I knew I needed to quit. I couldn't make it up the stairs without coughing my lungs up. Couldn't even uh, walk to a shop without slowly dying and dragging myself to the floor. It was pretty shit, to be honest. <laughs> but um, <coughs> There he goes. So, <laughs> it's, it's, the asthma's still there, but uh, it's nice to finally breathe easy. Uh, I, think, I think what got to, uh, got to me for, uh, first with uh, vaping was I tried a friend's, and this, this was about four four years ago yeah and it was this weird indian pipe style dripper where you just drip it in through the top this little hole and the flavor on it was nothing else yeah, I've, uh, tried I've, I've tried it sounds absolutely absurd I, I need to find it honestly it was such a fantastic little device and i tried that then i went for the ego style pen it just didn't do it for me it tastes a bit <laughs> like shit everything yeah. pour in there yeah that a lot these days yeah, then uh, I, went, I went to a very famous vape shop in Liverpool actually, I, I won't mention who it is but they are absolutely fantastic. And uh, I went and got a box mod off them, uh, Inokin MVP3 Pro, my first box mod with a sub-G tank and I just never turned back. I think it's three months later, I got a dripper and I don't use tanks anymore. What about nice. you? What, what got let's, you uh, let's, let's get another flavour on the go and we'll, we'll, we'll get into that one. Made that sound way more mysterious and exciting than it actually is. <laughs> cherry, cherry tart? Are we going for cherry tart? Yeah, that's yeah. good. I mean, I'm, cherry I'm, tart. I'm, not, I'm not a big uh, cherry person, so... Me neither, so I'm, I'm hoping to be impressed here. So, this one is, I will put my glasses on, a British classic, sugary, sweet, rich and authentic cherry bait ball tart. A deep-filled sweet pastry crust filled with delicious almonds, fresh cherries, finished with a soft, sweet, powdered icing. I hate bait ball tarts. <coughs> so this is going to be fun for everyone mm. who is watching. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get onto it. Oh. I'll, I'll let you go first, Laura. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thanks for that one. You're welcome. So, I started vaping three years ago, and I'm one of those terrible, terrible people that really enjoyed smoking. I loved a cigarette, you know, and I, it's bad, and you shouldn't have that kind of feeling, but the, the whole health risk thing, you know, when you're a bit younger, you don't think about it. Um, luckily for me, my star boyfriend uh, peer pressured me <laughs> into buying an e-cig. Actually, he bought me my first e-cig and it was a 50 watt eye stick with, uh, I think it was an Aspire Triton 2, top of the range at the time. That was about three years back now. Um, and it just sort of spiralled out of control from there. Um, it got pretty bad, spending spending a lot of money. Calmed it down now, obviously. Uh, but it's fun, you know, and it's, it's the community that I'm actually in it for and I love the people that I've met. And, I mean, all this here, this is just fantastic. And I mean, this opportunity is just spot on. I'm gonna try this. You should talk for a minute. Yeah, um, that is pretty bake welly. That juice, that is very bake welly. Uh, cherry flavour. It's kind of coming across a bit chemically to me. I mean, not yeah. going with any harsh fruit flavour early, but um, definitely getting the tart through. The tart is honestly phenomenal. Like. Maybe maybe if a dinner lady invested this much tart into lemon tart, it would be. You can't, say, <laughs> you can't say dinner lady's lemon tart can get better. Come on. It can. It oh. really can. I, I, I said it. I said Dramatic it right now. Dramatic music starts now. Dun, dun, dun. I'll, I'll let that in <laughs> later. But oh, yeah, that, that's that is good. Yeah, that no, is very like, good. like I said, I'm, I'm an absolute stick on the cherry bake while I just cannot stand the stuff. But that is something that I could definitely put up with. Yeah. <laughs> Not, not the worst, not the worst flavour I've tried. Um, and there are people I know that would absolutely scream over this stuff. But to be honest, so far, just the quality of the liquids is absolutely blowing me over. Um, for a brand I've not heard of before last week, this is just... I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. Yeah, I really I mean, am. Yeah. They're, they're really onto something at the moment. Of the whole uh, candy shop aesthetic vibe as well. It's mm. This is what I was thinking. This is why I think it looks a lot like Dinner Lady. Obviously, it's yeah. not the pinwheel style, but the box itself is obviously the candy stripes. It, uh, it just screams like old time sweet like shop. 50s, yeah, yeah. Like if you've ever been to a Mr. Sims oh, yeah. or a, Mr. Sims or like you say, a 50s time of that, that's, that's what the packaging reminds us of, I guess. But yeah, I'm impressed so far. Now, contender for dinner lady, we have. Lemon top. Not lemon top, lemon green. <laughs> Blue for that one. <laughs> well, uh, there's, got, there's always got to be a lemon tart in every single new range now, so. Everyone wants yeah, to battle the dinner ladies. <laughs> yeah. Those girls stand strong. They do not take no shit from no one. They, they've got to get dethroned at some point now. You need no, to. you can't say that, man. Obviously, we're going to the next expo in Birmingham. If you are there, hit us up. We are near the main stage. We will have a cracking stand and you will want to see us. I promise you will want to. So, to be honest, I don't think you'll have a choice in the matter. <laughs> you'll see it. The we can't say anything now. We, we, we are signed under a disclosure agreement, but it is going to be off the head. I never say that. 
That was weird. <laughs> why, why Being on camera that? does strange things to people. Yeah. This is um this is not something I'm personally used to. I do have old YouTube videos, please don't find them. That's your goal now, to find all the YouTube yeah. videos. Name's not Laura. <laughs> oh fucking hell, that's it. That's where it's fitting. Killing himself. Hell's I've got big odds out on this. Mmm. It's really weird. Yeah. It's not it's, a, it's not tarty at all. I mean, that's a nice surprise for me because I automatically assumed it was a lemon tart rip off, but. Uh, <laughs> and everything seems to be these days. It's like, it's like more sorbet ish without the. Yeah. Sweat. Yeah. 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 That was good. I mean, it yeah. was really, really good. Well, what's the uh, flavour description? Read that shit out. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> 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 and he's fucked it up already. <laughs> <Too late. laughs> uh, delicious citrus treasure lemon sponge cake. Uh, lightly fluffy sponge with uh, fresh tantalizing tantalizing zest of lemon, sugar coated layer baked to perfection. Uh, I'm not putting the cake in it whatsoever. It just tastes. No, like I was sorbet. feeling that. Um, I don't look like sorbet. There is something that is baked in there, but like you say, I'm not feeling cake. It's sort of. It tastes to me like a, a lemon zest cookie or a key lime pie or something without the lime with a lemon. Um, so that's a strange one, it's but good. you know what? It's I good. really yeah. like it. Come on, come on, keep going. Oh, that was, that was very surprising, to say the least. Very surprising. Damn. Do we have any left? Have we done them all? Uh, no. No. We got a strawberry. Yep. Strawberry delight. I just I the camera strawberry out. out. Yeah. <laughs> strawberry delight, did you say? Yep. Damn. It's always you, one. Always you you one look at that sexy bit. bitch and I'm going to read it out. Okay, Strawberry Delight. An intense, delicious treat. Not delicious. Delicious treat. <laughs> packed with juiciness. A fresh, a, a fresh, sweet, candy flavoured strawberry e liquid. Mouthwateringly delicious. I this hate company it. I hate loves it. the word delicious. I hate, I hate companies who use <laughs> the expression mouthwatering. I, I don't know why. It, it just infuriates me. Uh, someone's got to tell me, like, am I the only one that gets dry mouth from vaping? Like, all these flavour descriptions, whereas it's... they are lovely and they are absolutely delicious, they're, um, I do get dry in my mouth after. Yeah. Well, that's any bit, it's not just these guys, it's, it's any it's liquid, yeah. Pretty much the polar opposite, it's mouthwatering. <laughs> Basically, what we're saying is stop stop calling your e-liquids mouthwatering. What do we reckon? Mm, this tastes like a bog standard kind of strawberry, strawberry cream flavour, really. I mean, I'm not getting anything special from it. Yeah. No, I'd rather be out. It's nice. It's nice as any other strawberry cream flavouring, but it's just. It's just get a drink before a cough and shit up. Pretty, uh, ah. bug standard. Mm. No, I am, um, I am pretty impressed with these flavours. Um, I got so much liquid on my dresser. The worst thing about it being the tsunami as well, it all comes flooding out the bottom. Don't slag off tsunamis. I. For an RDA that costs under 100 quid, right, Tsunami, that's it, that's all, that's my opinion. That's my old one right there, that's the original Tsunami. Upgraded from that, Tsunami 24. Yeah. It's where it's at, it is where it's at. Well, well, I've, well, well, well. I've seen other Tsunamis that kind of look like the Nalu, where it's got the Cylon. Yeah, yeah, so, glass in so it. With, with this particular Tsunami 24, you can get the cap for it that does have that glass window. Don't see the point to it much yeah. myself. Yeah. I've had glass, glass capped RDAs before, like Fishbone and use it once and it is instantly covered in crap, it looks awful. Um, they're pretty much just good for Instagram pictures. Did you ever try the uh, Nixon? Nixon? No, I did not. The Nixon was a totally glass top hat. You had that thing for half an hour, it would drop and you would fucking chatter it. It would just be gone. Ah, so it, it was pointless. Too it was great hard. RDA, great RDA, but it was just so breakable. Mm. So this, this range of liquids, I've been, I, I have to say, you've, you've got to try them, obviously there's been mixed opinions for each one between us, but there's not been one that either one of us hasn't liked. I mean, I, I would happily go out and buy the range. Yeah, I'd I, I pay for these. Yeah, it's pretty good. As far as, deep, especially with the TPD coming, as, as far as new flavours are going, that's pretty good. Like obviously at the moment you've got all your old companies like 12 Monkeys doing the TPD version of Nasty Juice and such, which are still popular. But I, I don't know, I just think there's some space for some new contenders. And like I say, obviously at Vapor Expo, is why I brought it up earlier, is um, they obviously do the awards. Dinner Lady swept the floor last year, uh, as far as cereal and bakery flavours go. Um, I'm hoping to see a much smaller new TPD company rise from the ashes and just dominate. That'd be just top class for me. And then obviously we'll go over and start stocking them instantly. 
mean, to, to be honest, I, I want to see a new industry standard out of the TPD. It is a bad thing, but we may see new liquids and new companies coming through because of it, but those have been prepared for longer than you've needed to, especially. So I'm, I'm quite interested to see how the next few months is going to go. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's definitely an opportunity for the little guys to come out of the woodwork for a bit. Uh, big guys, they've had the market for too long, need to calm down a little bit and let the little guys just rise up. Yeah, t totally agree, yeah. totally agree. I mean, er everyone started to wear. I mean, I remember the first time I tried dinner lady, they were absolutely brand new to the market and it was, oh god, this is good, you know, you guys, good luck, and all the best to you. And next time I saw them, absolutely massive. And you just you can't tell between flavors. It, it, it's so unpredictable. I, yeah. I remember when I first started uh, vaping, it was all um, flawless was the hype back then. Everyone was getting tugboats and, yeah. you know, uh, anything related to forest basically. And, you know, you've just kind of dropped that market. I mean, they're still in it and they're still going strong, but, you know, going down to this store X20 and them sharing a store with someone else, you know, that's crazy. They're such a, yeah. a great company. Yeah, so like obviously with with some companies you've seen them going up and up and up and then obviously the older guys you just sort of seeing a decline. I mean, stuff like Charlie's Chart Dust. Talk yeah. to me about Charlie's Chart Dust two years ago, everyone would have been snapping your hand off. Talk about them now and it's like, who even sells them anymore? Yeah. Where are they? What are they doing with themselves, you know? I mean, what, one thing I'm really glad about is the whole uh, Heisenberg phase is starting to die out. I mean, I, and I, I remember when I was working primarily in the store and every day I'd get at least two people asking for Heisenberg and it was just... I did the same thing when I was running my shop. Yeah, it's just not a great flavour. Don't ask, we don't have Heisenberg. We have it, I ain't selling it yet, buy yeah. something else. Get, get on the real hype, you know, you've got all these fucking wonderful flavours and you're sticking to some blueberry menthol thing. And it's thing. Shite, yeah. yeah, it's you just... Know? It's just oh, not. You're bit adventurous, guys. Yeah. Come on. If, if you're working in a vape, vape shop, especially, if someone walks in and asks for Heisenberg, get them to try something else. Blow their mind. Please do it. For the rest of the, everyone else who vapes. Like, I don't know. Best question you've ever been asked in a shop. I bet you, you've heard this a hundred times. What's the best flavour you do? Oh, my dear. <laughs> oh. Right, um, well, let me think. So, this customer loves this flavour, and that customer loves this flavour. I personally love this flavour. It's personal taste. You need to get yourself to, to a shop like Electrify, where they have a massive ass juice bar, and you can just try everything. So yeah. let's just have a quick look around the shop. So we got all these juices to try. Oh, there's lovely t-shirts. Look at them right there. <laughs> and all of these juices. And that guy right there, vaping. Going some stickers. I can some stickers. Shall, shall no, we no, demonstrate? No, we uh, no, no you, you said you got to demonstrate now. <laughs> Oh, come on, what's this shit now? Come on. What's your life on, mate? What are you gonna... Hey, there's the real show, now you're all happy. I know you are. Uh, uh. Okay, we've got to put over. Um, oh, right, yeah, stickers. Stickers that I can't do. I can, I, can, I can pop a couple. Let's start with this one, Jordan. Why don't you do us now? Oh, that was cool. <laughs> uh, I could just like hear Thomas the Tank Engine just playing. Yeah, it's, right, it's literally the most horrible thing working in the vaping industry and not being able to pop an Owen. It's just. That, that's beautiful. That was... <laughs> John, everyone. Yeah. How, how many years have you said you're into this for now? Uh, quite, quite, uh, three, 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 three years. I, 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 I've been trying. I've been trying my best. I've had everyone <laughs> in the shop give me tutorials. I still can't do it. God. It's. it's uh... <laughs> It's poor. It's, 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 it's if anyone, if um, what job do you do again? If anyone's after a job, <laughs> <laughs> might have an opening. <laughs> Yeah, it's the most disappointing thing in the world when you're at Expo and you're seeing everyone popping sick tricks and you're just there uh, like blowing clouds. Now, all right, let's not slag off, okay? If you're a cloud chaser, big up to you. Honestly, just you do you, pal. You learn something, please. Yeah, I need to. I need to. I can blow decent clouds, but can you? Alright, alright. What are we doing this time? Bitch, get it on the scene. Bit of a cherry tart for everyone. Oh. <laughs> it's nice, but like I said, I can't handle it all the time. I'm liking it, I'm liking yeah. it. I mean, I, d I don't need the cherry in it, but the tart is just... Well, then again, I, I really like that, um, that lemon green one. Yeah. It's a weird one. It's, it's really it, different, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Can't, can't really pin what it's supposed to be, but... Damn. Well, I mean, if I blew a cloud right at the camera, it'd look bigger as well. I, mean, I, I got bold enough to do it this way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Hey. I'm going to show you back over. Right, so um, we'll, do, we'll do a quick recap before I <coughs> we'll to drink. lose all my shit. Yeah, no, maybe. So, strawberry jean. Um, well, we, need, we do need ratings soon. Really? Um, not a fan, not up, a fan. No. Uh, that, that's, a, that's a mixed one now. <coughs> so if you, if I, I tried a ton of strawberry, straw, I can't say strawberry, strawberry flavours. No. <laughs> You're from Bolton, Cheryl. I'm from Bolton, but do I have a Boltonian accent? I don't think so. Right. Okay, okay. Yeah? You've settled that now. Right. So uh, with, with uh, this particular strawberry, strawberry. <laughs> That, that flavour, oh. that flavour, strawberry delight. I'm going to say it, strawberry delight. That one. Is it strawberry delight or strawberry dream? Uh, strawberry delight. Strawberry delight. If you, if you tried quite a lot of uh, strawberry flavours and... What strawberry flavour do you like? I like, um... I've stopped him. <laughs> I, I don't mind the chubby strawberry one. Oh, <laughs> no, mind. dude. Come on, chubby bubble. Not like, not for you guys, but... And that's the juice of the strawberry one as well, I can't remember it. Yeah. I think we should know this probably. Yeah, I really should. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what strawberry one I like, and a lot of other people are, they're, they're like, wince at the thought of it. Strawberry cupcake from the Elements Far Range. That, oh, that is nice. That yeah, is quite nice. Yeah, that, that hits the spot for me. It's just like strawberry frosting on a uh, vanilla cake. Oh, God. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it just tastes pretty bog standard, really, yeah. as far as strawberry flavours go. I mean... I, I, it's sort of like strawberry custard, except it's a bit more strawberry-ish. But other than that, it's, it's okay. I mean, I wouldn't go out of my way for it. Mm. It's okay. Okay, part two. Lemon dream. That's terrible, you probably can't see it. There you go. So, I'm so, gonna give that like, um, not, not so much this, maybe like this. Slightly tilted, because I really like it, but I don't think it fits the flavour profile. Not at all. I mean, no. it's, it's nice to try a lemon flavour that mm. isn't trying to imitate, you know, lemon tart, because <laughs> every every single lemon flavour I've tried recently is just lemon tart. Like Mr. Meringue, for example. Yeah. Lemon tart. But it does taste like more meringue, I think. <laughs> I should hope so. Uh, but, um, yeah, it, it, every other flavour is trying to imitate it. It's nice to try something different. I wouldn't call it an all-day bait, but mm. it's okay. I mean, yeah, I'd go out and buy it. Yeah. I would. Now, I think this one might be your favourite. <coughs> Sweet spot. Oh yeah, that's, that's two thumbs up. This is the melon yeah. strawberry kiwi one. Yeah, I so, don't. I, I, I really I'm, like I'm, it, but you don't. You don't get the strawberry in it. I, I'm, I'm gonna say it right now. I don't actually like <coughs> fruit flavours. I'm more of a cereal dessert kind of guy. The wrong. You have a lot of dessert and cereal flavours with fruits in them, but not really prominent. But as far as fruit flavours go, definitely, definitely hands down by the best I've tried in quite a long that's time. A, actually. That's a pretty big thumb. I'm gonna get closer to make that thumbs up a bit yeah. bigger. There you go. What's, what What else was there? Cherry? We've lost everything. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah. Cherry tart. Cherry tart? Um, I'm, I'm good. I'm going to angle it. I mean, it's, okay. It's... For, for the flavour, I'm going to give it a good thumbs up. My personal taste, I'm, I'm going to go here. Because, like I said, don't like Jerry Bakewell, but it's just good. It's just nice. The, the tart in it is phenomenal, you know, whereas the cherry, just like every other cherry flavour out there, is just yeah, still a bit yeah. chemically like you can still. Taste the fact that it's artificial. Yeah. Um, my biggest thing with the bake is probably that Battenberg flavour. That's that's the taste that I can't stand, but this doesn't seem to have it. Um, and I guess that's why I can Yeah. You no, know, for 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 someone that calls it itself a cherry tart and describes itself as a cherry bake ball, I would actually pick it up in the shops, yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, the club favourite. Oh, here it is. Oh, cola. Cola best. This stuff is just it, don't wrong, it's not as hard hitting as most of the cola flavours, but because of it's salty, it, it works. It really does work. Mm. I mean, it, I'm kind of getting roller cola kind of vibe off it, which is nice. Yeah. You know, it's nice. Like I said, it, it's hard to describe it without making it sound shit, but it does taste to me like those um, like 10p Coca Cola flavoured ice pops you get. Because um, it is a little bit like it's watered down, but it works for the flavour. It just. It bounces quite well. Yeah. Uh, it just it works. I think I think by doing that, by making it a tiny bit weaker than some of the ones that you get, like the Bright Squad ones, um, they, they've taken that harshness off, which is an issue that you have with a lot of Coke Cola flavors. Also, most uh, Coke flavors have noticed have a kick of menthol in it as well. Yes. No, you know, you kind of lose yeah. the, the cola taste yeah. through that. They've managed to achieve that really good Coca Cola flavor without the uh, the cool ardor um, yeah. in the background there. 
But yeah, no. Um, as an entire range, I'm, I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a strong thumbs up. Okay, yeah, I think two. We'll go four. Yeah, Fuck yeah, it. Four. Um, that's um. We'll we'll rate it four thumbs. Four thumbs. Four thumbs. There we go. Four We've got a rating people. system. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yes. I, I throw a tone there as well. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, four, four thumbs for the indulge range. Now, if you want to check these guys out, they do have a website, um, of which I'm probably not going to be able to find now. I'm looking for it. Uh, I've got it. A website. Oh shit. The website is <laughs> www.indulge-juice.co.uk. Go and have a look at them. I'm not sure if these guys were around before TPD, um, but I, I'm glad they're coming. I'm glad they're coming with us through it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, definitely, definitely great views. Yeah. No. Four thumbs. Four thumbs and a ten. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I think we should wrap this up here. Yeah. It has been a very successful first ever podcast. Um, I can only promise that it, it might improve. Uh, there might be background music, there might be links in places, we'll try and organise a bit better, but yeah. for a first mm. one, you know, we're, we're just going for it. I mean, uh, we are going to be doing one upload a week until after the expo because we are incredibly busy at the moment, but uh, after expo you should be seeing us four times a week. Four times a week? Four times a week you'll be seeing us, He's so right. you might get sick of us, I don't know. Ah, uh, you won't get sick of us, we're cool guys. Mm. And there's enough of us, so you'll, yeah. as you'll just be seeing mine and Jordan's gorgeous faces 24-7. Uh, obviously, you've got all the guys that you saw in the uh, gaming video, excluding him. Yep. Um, so that's like James Dion Paul over there. Yeah. Yep. Uh, no, sorry, uh, James Dion. Josh? No, not Josh. What was Josh? Penny. Was it Penny? Jack Penny, yeah. Right, okay. It, it, was, it was a really uh, foul language one. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. um, no, it's how that's been uh, a little bit toned down on yeah, this one. Yeah, this is it's, it's, it's <laughs> it a bit more relaxed. Yeah. They were having fun, you know, not excusing anything. But, um,. No, uh, I mean, the main thing at the moment, we're just looking for feedback. If you yeah. guys want to just drop a comment, just let us know how we're doing. If we're terrible, please tell us and also fuck off. Um, if you think we're doing great, fantastic, stick around, get involved. We're going to do some competitions, we're going to be doing giveaways. Um, we'll, we'll probably be shouting out quite a few guys. I mean, these guys, Steamworks. Yeah, incredible guys, yeah, definitely. Big up Steamworks, you guys are absolute fucking legends. Thank you for the hat, thank you for yeah. spending time with us when we were at Vape Jam. Um, obviously, you guys were in the same hotel as us, and we had we had a pretty yeah, good chat. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I, I really like these guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I know you guys aren't going to the expo, which is pretty sad, but we'll uh, we'll hope to see you at the next jam. Um, if you are at Expo, please come and find us. Just give us a handshake or a cuddle. We love it. Um, yeah. we, we just love being involved in the community. Yeah, just come hang out and yeah. you know, talk people. No, you are going to say that you are going to want to come and see our stand. I know bragging isn't like the most attractive thing, but Oh, We've it's going to be amazing. Us yeah. too, we, we put this thing it's together really and it fun. looks sick. People people trusted us with money. Yeah, people. <laughs> Which is scary. People. It's pretty scary. <laughs> people. If, you, if, you, if you can imagine what 220 something people will do, <laughs> then that's it. That's literally You've it. Got it. You've got to have a lot of fun. A lot of fun there, I've Yeah? Yeah. Right, um, we're going to wrap this up here. We're going to come up with some kind of random outro. Yeah, um, so like, subscribe, comment. Do that. YouTube us. Do all that YouTube good us. shit. Yeah. Uh, we have social media. Electrofag is. Just search Electrofag on Facebook and you can find it. It is facebook.com forward slash Electrofag. I don't even work there, is it? No, it's not. It's like a random URL. (laughs) Sorry about that. Anyway, you can change it, so we're going to change it. Yeah, we're going to change it. So look for forward slash Electrofag on Instagram. It is at Electrofag. Come and find us. Twitter, we don't really use, so don't bother with that. Why'd you mention it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, as for Steeped, you can find That's Miss Laura here at uh, Steeped Juice on Instagram. And we are Steeped Juice Official on Facebook. Drop us a like. There are competitions going every single week. We like to give away our juice just so people can try it and go, wow, that's good. Yeah? Yeah. I think that's a pretty solid ending. We're going to leave it there before we say something stupid. Bunkins! Um, yeah, our, um, we're not joking, our, our, the name of this company genuinely is Electrofag. Yeah. With the fag. With the, we're ele- with the Electrofag, it's... Yeah. We've highlighted it too. Yeah, we didn't even put it in multicolors. Yeah. That, that means that we're not hearing it, so... And we can completely support, support it. it yeah. yeah, we've got gay people working in the shop. Dion. <laughs> Wait, what? I just jumped down the wrong entire thing. I'm back at the start. It's a lot of time to be gay, though. <laughs> well, the fantasy's gone. Oh no! <laughs> Say it again, we're not home. Oh no, not even a little bit. <laughs> oh, lots of family members that are homophobic. Home- <laughs> 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 um, so that's where you go from. That are, um, that are You're digging yourself a hole. I know, it's just cracking <laughs> here. Uh oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So I think it's going fairly well for our first podcast. Yeah, just-